Hello, this is Mitch with Compass Tools, and we're going to do a data transfer from a Trimble Yuma. Uh, this workflow also works if you have TerraSync installed on any kind of Windows 7 or Windows 8 computer. I'm going to create a file really quickly. I'm going to call it Bob's Data and say create. And I'll go ahead and log a point. Okay, and then I'll close this file, and I'll go ahead and close TerraSync. Uh, it's important to understand that when you create a new file on a Yuma or other Windows computer, uh, that file gets stored in your C drive, My Documents, TerraSync. So uh, a lot of you folks use this document, but that's uh, uh, under your username. So if you look in this document, you're not going to find your data. You need to first go to your C drive and then My Documents. And TerraSync stores all this data in the TerraSync folder. So if we look in here, we have Bob's data. But a lot of you are probably used to seeing a .ssf file. Uh, when the data has not been transferred yet, it's in a raw format. And uh, instead of one SSF file, there's a whole bunch of raw extensions. So what you want to do is highlight all these extensions and make sure you get all of them. I'm going to right click and copy. On the Yuma you can hold the stylus down for about two seconds and it will give you the option to copy. But I will copy these and then I will insert a thumb drive into the Yuma. So here's my thumb drive. And you might as well create a new folder on the thumb drive. We'll call it Yuma Data. You can call it whatever you like, and then we'll right click and paste that raw data in there, making sure we have all those different file extensions. And again, on the Yuma, you can hold the stylus down, and it will give you the option to paste. So from there, uh, we will pull the thumb drive out of the Yuma and put it in a computer that has. Pathfinder Office installed on it. Uh, you can do this with Pathfinder Office Viewer or the full Pathfinder Office. But open Pathfinder Office and go straight for Utilities and Data Transfer. Your data transfer might look for a GIS data logger on Windows Mobile. That's like a, a Geo or a Juno or a Nomad. Uh, but this time we want a data transfer off of that USB thumb drive. So I'm going to tell it to stop looking for a geo and then click on devices and say new and we're looking for the GIS folder and we'll say OK. Then we'll browse to the folder on that thumb drive. So that'll show up under computer, whatever your thumb drive happens to be named and we'll point it to the Yuma data. That, that's a folder that contains all the Yuma data. Then we'll say next. We'll tell it this data was created with TerraSync software and say next. You can give it a name. Uh, Yuma data sounds good to me. Then we'll say finish. Looks like I already got one so I'll call it Yuma data 2. Finish and close. So now instead of GIS data logger on Windows Mobile, we're going to data transfer off of that thumb drive. So you can say receive, add, data file, receive tab, add, data file, grab Bob's data, and this is where it's going to go. So if you don't want it at the default, you can browse somewhere else, but then you just say open and transfer all. Alright, and there she goes. So what that's done, that's taken that raw data and compressed it into an SSF. Now we can open Bob's data in Pathfinder Office and we're good to go. I should have mentioned earlier, you can actually transfer as many files as you want at one time. So if you had 10 files, just make sure you get all the raw data for all 10 files. 
put them on the thumb drive and do a data transfer off of the thumb drive and you're good to go. That's it for this recording. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit compasstoolsinc.com or for questions, please email support at compasstoolsinc.com.